Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows testicular idocele, pyocele, varicocele, and iguanal hernia. You can see the left testes and it looks ecomaco normal. The blood flow is normal as well as the size of the testes. Ultrasound is the imaging modality of choice for investigation of scrotal pain and swelling or follow-up of a known epididymoarchitis. Features of pyocele on ultrasound are complex heterogeneous fluid collection in the scrotal sac with septa. Gas may be present causing hyperechoic foci and shadowing. You can see the left testes and a significant amount of thick fluid is seen in the upper portion of the right testes. So this is hydrocele pyocele. Pyocele is the fluid seen in the scrotal sac having thick and thick fluid and inter multiple internal equals are seen. But hydrocele shows a clear fluid inside the scrotal sac. At sonography, congenital hydrocele appears as an anechoic fluid collection surrounding the anterolateral aspect of the testes and sometimes extending to the iguanal canal. As in this case, the fluid is also, you will see the fluid is also extending to the iguanal canal or as a fluid collection with low levels swirling echoes which are related to protein aggregation or deposits of cholesterol crystals. It hydrocele can develop as a result of injury or inflammation within the scrotum. Inflammation might be caused by an infection in the testicles or in the small coiled tube at the back of each testicle that is called epididymis. And the condition is called epididymitis. You can see the blood flow is also seen in the testes and these are the dilated blood vessels and this is varicocele. Varicocele is abnormal dilatation of the pampiniform venous plexus. They are classified as primary or uh, uh, secondary depending on their cause and staged clinically on the basis of their extension and on the presence or uh, absence of spontaneous or induced reversal of blood flow. You can see the increased blood flow is seen by Valsalva's maneuver. A hydrocele can develop as a result of injury. Hydrocele is defined and fluid surrounding the testicles which is usually simple anechoic and without layering debris. Hydrocele if septation significant layering or deb debris are visualized during scanning then diagnosis of complex hydrocele or pyocele is made and either pyocele or hematocele are also considered. You can see the fluid in the iguanal canal and the gut loops are seen inside this fluid. This is the iguanal hernia. And by signs of varicocele on ultrasound are veins that are wider than 3 mm with blood flow the wrong way during the Valsalva's maneuver. The ultrasound can also show the size of the testicles. Now you can see the fluid, free fluid seen inside the iguanal canal as well as the gut loops. And hernia occurs when an organ or fatty tissue squeezes through a weak spot in the surrounding muscle or connective tissue called fascia. The most common types of hernia are iguanal, incisional, 
femoral, umbilical, and hiatal. An equivalent hernia occurs when tissues such as part of the intestine protrudes through a weak spot in the abdominal muscle. The resulting bulge can be painful, especially when you cough, bent over, or lift a heavy object. Now you again you can see this fluid and the cupping effect also by cupping the gut movements are increased and the gut is pushed downwards into the testicular side. Ultrasound is a non-invasive, non-ionizing radiation modality which is highly successful at soft tissue imaging. Grand pain from the occlate hernia can be difficult. Clinical diagnosis made easier by good imaging by optimizing the image using depth, focus and gain. Again you can see the hydrocele, pyocele. Now the ultrasound findings of the iguanal hernia are herniated gut loops along some fluid collection in the iguanal region as you can see in this case. Testes and epididymis pulled up with herniated contents. Hydrocele on the respective involved side and normal testes on the unaffected side. A bulge in the groin area is visible because standing and cuffing can make the hernia more prominent. As you have seen in this case, also you will likely to be asked to stand up and cuff or strain if the diagnosis is not readily apparent. Your doctor might order an imaging test such as an abdominal ultrasound, CT scan or MRI. Examination of an adult for an equivalent hernia is best performed from the seated position with the patient standing. The inguinal canal area the iguanal area for the bulge are visualized and a provocative cuff may be necessary to expose the hernia. The cuff is repeated as the examiner investigates the scrotum and feels for an impulse. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.